might be spending your sugar on something else during the holidays, like maybe some yummy cocktails. Okay, Because exactly. that's, that's all this missing from this set, right? You need some cocktails. Well, that's the thing, you know, we're all dressed up with no place to go. Yeah. And you know, and talking of natural sweeteners, you're a natural sweetener as well. Oh, you're such a suit, Colin. I love it. You come back. Sweet. So gorgeous. Uh, you, yeah, you too. Okay. Yeah, you can come back as well. <laughs> Meanwhile, so we're going to have a whiskey sour today, um, which is one of my favourite cocktails. You know, I think it's got a bit of class, a bit of an, an air about it. And it's one of those unique drinks that I can actually have 13 of without passing out. Oh, so, these, um, so whiskey <laughs> sours work for you, yeah, huh? Yeah, totally, totally. Okay. You know, so you start off with your bourbon. Got a little shaker here. Yeah. I've got some uh, sugar syrup going into this. 50% sugar. 50% water, stove top to melt it to make that fluid rather than ah. buy it. It's about a quarter of the price. Exactly. Yeah, make your own. And then what you need Excellent. to do is get yourself a big Scottish boy oh, right. to squeeze, squeeze your lemon <laughs> for we go. And you just stand there like oh, this. Wow. You go, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's looking the most gorgeous. Part of the recipe. Is this going to be tart enough, Colin? Well, <laughs> <laughs> there we it's are. coming from an old tart, so it should oh. be fine. <laughs> Now that is really what you're so in trouble. Exactly. See what you've started, Tracy Moore. Know. See? I like it. Keep going. I love this. In this surreal show, there's a man with a bow tie and an egg. <laughs> um, <laughs> the secret to you know, a good sour is to put some egg white in there. So that's only half an egg white, which I'm just going to swoosh in there as well. I didn't realize there was egg white in there. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Get yourself some ice as well. And you put it in your classy little shaker. Pop it into your shaker. Pull it into your okay. shaker. will make your cocktail taste much better, clearly. <laughs> well, oh, yeah. Exactly. And then you see it. Did, did, it's all in the hips, apparently. Yeah. And then this handy little thing allows you to actually drain it off. I'm going to get skewed This my hands. is the best part about it, though. When you actually pour it into that beautiful glass. Well, exactly. You're ready for You this? know it's going to be a good drink. Oh, this is just the best. It's one of my favorites as well. Lovely. Let's get it down, you. Yeah. Oh, do you down. ever do a bit? Do you do any of uh, garnish for a whiskey sour? No. Um, you would put a little. Just you just leave it? I would, I would do a slice of lemon. Okay. You know, that's I would yours. just put a little lemon on there, and that's it. And you find that actually, you know, the rich taste of the whiskey mm -hmm. with the little egg in oh. there. And with the lemon, oh, it's such an honestly try combo. this, it's an amazing mm -hmm. drink. I mean, yeah. Yeah, totally not allowed. So nice. Mm. Does that work for you? It's a very See, good I like that. On the other side of the spectrum, I love Stop. an apple sour. Put it down. Yeah, enough <laughs> calling your life together. <laughs> like, uh, oh, hold on a minute. <laughs> you just said 15, didn't you? And still standing up. I heard oh, that. Oh, that's delicious. It's so it? good. <laughs> on the other side of the spectrum, I yeah. love a sour apple martini. Now, it's a classic cocktail that a lot of mm. people think is just really a girl's cocktail, but I know loads of blokes that drink it, and it's really easy to make. There's I, a surprise. There's a surprise, surprise tomorrow. <laughs> now, I don't care to measure things like we do in, like, in some parts of the world. I like to do it in Scottish ways, just pour in a liberal dose. Just eye of, it. Yeah, you can eyeball exactly, it. Exactly, eye it. Sour puss is really nice. It balances the taste. Okay. And then some vodi. Now, shamelessly telling you that absolute vodka is my absolute favourite. Okay. And just a tiny bit, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit <laughs> in there like that. Now, this couldn't be any easier. Um, I'm going to be slightly classier with the insertion of the ice than my comedy partner Colin was and use a proper spoon for that. <laughs> just saying, Colin, just saying. Listen, just popping it out there. These hands have been boiled clean. It's fine. <laughs> Fabulous. Totally sterile. And then top your, your top on there. Now, again, as Colin said, it's all in the shape. So I'm going to give it a really, really, really good shape. Shake it up. I love that. And then pop it in the glass. <laughs> now, as you said, there's hardly any alcohol in there, so you can really go crazy at party season. <laughs> in moderation, obviously. You've got some ice in there first? I'm not going to put any ice oh, in there. Call a cab, people. I'm going to put that straight in oh, the look. top of this. Now, this is just nectar. I love the colour okay. of it, too. And then finally, as a little garnish, mm -hmm. a little piece of apple, which should just pop oh, right over so the side perfect. like that. So, to get it down your neck, love. Let's have a little <laughs> try. Hold on. I'm trying not to get fired here. You try it. Oh. How is it? I like my job. Because there's no alcohol. It's so tasty. <laughs> we love all cocktails, Tracy. Do you know whether it's a big... Come on in. The home. rest of our... Come, come in and party with us. Oh, hello, Granny Ryan's at it oh, again. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> She's in the sherry. Try that. Oh, oh, it looks like Windex. Okay, oh. so... <laughs> let's, say, let's say you don't want any of the alcoholic beverages because there will pe be people at your party that are designated drivers course, or that aren't yeah. into alcohol, you might want to stick with one of these amazing drinks that you made for us earlier. So yeah, this is a hot chocolate. It could be a coffee. It could be a coffee. Absolutely. Right? And it's, you mixed it up with Well, this one blender. has alcohol in it. Sorry about that. Oh, but okay. it's, I mean, I'm in my Never mind what I just said. <laughs> yeah, the final touch layering tool. You can use anything. You just want to do the heaviest liquid yes. to the lightest. The heaviest liquid to the <laughs> lightest. We got it yeah. now. Now it makes sense. It's all about density. It is all about oh, density. We're doing so, right. Right. so now we've got <laughs> we've got a chocolate table, we've got a couple of cocktails, a gorgeous space to have our party in, some beautiful furry wrapped gifts. <laughs>
<laughs> and our layered coffee. I think I think it's a good party. I think, I think yeah, well. maybe yeah, party good. starts here. Yeah, thank you for joining us today on City Line. Hopefully I'll still be here tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>